Happy High Five Friday, Hawks, and welcome back to Talk Hawk. Guess what big event is happening at Horizon? Today, Zach. <laughs> oh, a crazy Christmas dance off at lunch? No, try again. <laughs> the High Five Volleyball Tournament? Ding, ding, ding. It's today from 3 to 4.45. Teams that have signed up get to compete, and each player needs to bring two cans of food per person, including people watching. We will also be providing people with food for our annual food packing event for Generation Alive. It takes place next Wednesday during school. Each grade will participate in the extravaganza. Horizon students brought in an amazing $3,234, which means we will be packing about 13,000 meals. Impressive job, everyone. Hopefully your mid-quarter grades will be impressive. Progress reports are coming out soon. They will be sent home next week next Wednesday as you leave for winter break. Now please leave your seat and stand and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just like the ones I used to know Well, treetops glisten And the children listen To hear slave elves in the snow The snow Said I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days, may your days, may your days Be merry and bright And may all your Christmas You know who has character, Jackie? You do. And you know how we can build our character? By working on the character traits. Let's remind them of what they are. Commitment, forgiveness, honesty, humility, kindness, patience, respect, and selflessness. So remind me, what was our character did last week? It was accountability buddies. You know when you set a goal and told your friends so they could make sure you stayed on track to meeting your goal? That was a great dare and one that students should do for the rest of their lives. Now let's continue on to next week's dare. Next week's dare is don't hurry, be happy. You complete this dare by being the last person to leave each classroom for the entire day. Tell me more, that could be all. When you slow down and do things like don't jump on your phone when you're bored or not doing anything. Instead, smile or start up a conversation or move simply put. Just chill out, take in your surroundings and enjoy the moment. That's easy, I can do that. As we do every week. Now let's show the Hawks how they can do this. Okay class, what's nine plus 10? So Jacob, why are you still here? I'm working on my character there. And you can too, Hawks. Good morning, Horizon Hawks, and welcome to the Forensic Files. It's been a while. So we got some things in the file to uh, go over here with you guys today. Uh, number one, today is the High Five Volleyball Tournament. So all of you that have signed up, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy the tournament. Please make sure that you thank Mrs. Finney and Mrs. Moffitt for all their efforts in putting that together for you guys. Uh, if you plan on attending the volleyball game as a fan, uh, you need two cans of food to go to the game. So that's your admission. So if you don't have cans of food, um, you won't be able to watch, but if you bring two cans of food in, then you're good to go. I uh, want to go a little over uh, Spirit Week coming up here. So today, it's Thursday, we're filming this now, it's hat day. Uh, tomorrow, or today, you guys are watching, this is ugly sweater day, so hopefully you're wearing your ugly sweaters, I'll be wearing mine. Monday is fuzzy sock day, Tuesday is reindeer day, and Wednesday is pajama day. So just as a heads up on our Spirit Day, so make sure you're participating there. Uh, next in the files, uh, 
On Wednesday, progress reports go home uh, with you guys. So parents will get an email from Mr. Wolcott letting them know that those should be on the way. So please make sure you're getting those home, uh, sharing with parents, and more importantly, make sure that you're getting things turned in and tests retaken if you need to do that. Uh, so your grades are where you want them to be for progress reports. Uh, next in the files, if you're a sports fan, uh, we're running out of time for our first round of winter sports. Uh, wrestling completed this last week. I want to congratulate all the guys and coaches on a great season. Volleyball has one more game uh, on Monday. Uh, seventh graders play here. Seventh grade girls play here against Evergreen. And if you're going on the road, eighth graders are playing Evergreen at Evergreen. So we have a couple of opportunities for you guys to watch those games. Uh, Generation Alive is going to be happening this morning, so uh, be listening. Mr. Conrad will be dismissing grade levels to come down and pack the food um, for Generation Alive. It's going to be roughly 15,000 meals, so congratulations on doing such a great job raising money for this. Uh, know that all of the food that we pack today will be taken to Valley Partners Food Bank, which is right here in the Spokane Valley, and all of that food will go out to people right here in our own community that are in need. So, um, great job with the Generation Alive. That's it for the files for this week, you guys. Um, Christmas break is coming up. I hope you guys have a great one. I hope you're safe. I hope that you spend time with uh, family and friends and those you love the most. So, to you and yours, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. See ya. Back to this week's extravagant edition of BLT. What's so extravagant, Ollie? Well, first of all, we're the host. Doesn't that make it extravagant? Totally, Ollie. You know who else is extravagant? Aria Grande is. Wasn't she the last week's song singer? Yeah, she was. And she's saying thank you next. Let's see who won. Ripley. Hot. Emily Martin, 6th grade. Ashlyn Barlow, 6th grade. Skyla Castro, 6th grade. Audrey Denton, 6th grade. You know who I'm thankful for? Dutch. Me too. What so extravagant meals are we going to have? Chicken Caesar salad and garlic toast. Thanks for that, Logan. Anytime. Now it's time to see whose birthdays are today and this weekend. Today's birthdays are Ariana Anderson, Jenna Brenton, Joy Larson. Do so happy birthday to you. Do you think that was extravagant for all those hawks out there? And there's some. Let's go watch the rest of Hawk Talk. Cringy edition of sports. I'm Pat. And I'm Joe. Did you hear, Pat? The volleyball had two matches this week and will be having their last matches on Monday going against Evergreen Middle School? Yeah. Monday will be their last game. Eighth grade will travel and seventh graders will play at home. Oh, and remember, all of you boys who want to play basketball when we return from winter break, remember to turn in your paperwork. Speaking of wrestling... Uh, Joe, we were talking about wrestling. Oh, well, some wrestlers won the league championships. Let's interview some of these some of the league championships. Welcome Nick Alexander, Taylor Danes, and Joseph Williams. Okay, first, first of all, congratulations on the wins. We have some questions for you. How does it feel to be the best wrestlers in your weight class in the whole district? You get them easy dubs. That's Taylor. Good. It feels wonderful. <laughs> um, were you ever worried that you were going to lose your match? Um, yes, in my last match, okay. I got in some bad spots. No, I knew I was going to pin everyone. No. Of course. Um, how did your coaches help you win? They worked hard with us throughout the season. Looking ahead, do you plan to wrestle outside of school and in high school? Yes. Once again, thanks for joining us, and congrats on the win. And that can it's this week's sports report. Thanks for watching, Hawks. Mm, 
welcome back to the high five edition of Hog Talk. Hey McKinley, I'm super excited for Christmas. Yeah, me too. I'm also excited for winter break. Isn't winter break December 20th through January 2nd? Yeah, and the last day of school before break is December 19th, which is next Wednesday. McKinley, you're pretty smart. Have you kept up your grades at a 3.5 GPA or higher? Yeah, I have. Doesn't that mean I qualify for Honor Society? Mm, it does. All you have to do, Hawks, is keep your grades above a 3.5 GPA and you'll be set for success. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, hi, sisters, and welcome back to the Lost and Found Fashion Show. We'll be showing you the cute clothes here at the, in the Lost and Found. If you recognize any of these clothes, you need to come and pick them up before winter break and before I stretch them out and tear them. <laughs> Weren't they being donated to the teens' closet during winter break if they weren't claimed before then? Yeah, that's right. Now let's jump right into today's fashion show. Okay, so we have this little jacket. Cute, right? This cute boot. Here, show them the dress. Oh. This is a Gucci dress. Turn around and do a little spin for us. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have in here? We have such great the such same great boots. Pieces. In case you want to blend in with the wilderness, you know, a you little camo. Just a hood. It's on trend right now. Yeah. <laughs> if or, you're thinking about going to the Arctic, for a hooded dress, maybe. <laughs> if you're in there. Um. Yeah, we have some other cute clothes. If you don't want to be seen. Where do you go? Wait, I think this is mine. Wow, I found what I needed at the Lost and Found. What is it? Yes. Here's a full lunch box. Oh, it actually oh, has a name on it. Hallie Ames. Shout out to you. Come pick up your lunch box today. Wow, there was some really cute stuff there. Yeah, if they were mine, I would definitely come pick them up right after school today. I'm going to do that. Then I'm out of here since it's finally the weekend. Whoa, wait a minute, McKinley. We have some breaking news before we go. Yeah. Hot off the press from Miss Jensen. We have the Students of the Month for November. Let's give them a shout out now. The Students of the Month for November who did the trait of citizenship were sixth grade Hallie Ames, Sophia Benedetti, Sam Thomas, and Peyton Wolcott. Shout out, shout out to seventh graders go to London Aaron, Jaden Fisher, Rhett Sinston, and Car Carson Avery. What? Let's not forget about the eighth graders who showed great citizenship. And they were Jenna Wright, Mackenzie Lowe, Kyle Berry, and Daniel Hightower. Now we're ready to tell you to have a good weekend, Hawks. Word.